Spilling your Mountain Dew is a great way to start your video. Well, here we go. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Warp Tour. Now, for those who don't know what Warp Tour is, Warp Tour is the, one of the longest standing, greatest punk, metal, indie, and hip hop touring like concert summer camps of all time. But unfortunately, this is its last year. This is it. This is the end. It's over. I'm a little emotional inside, not outwardly, but inside. I'm kind of sad about it. So today we're going to be talking about Warp Tour, what it meant to me, uh, and since it's coming up in a couple days for me, what bands I'm going to see. I'm going to recommend you guys some bands, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Warp to me was better than Christmas growing up. For me, it was the event of the year. Couldn't miss it. Had to go. All my friends were excited. We'd get up, go get some fast food, and hit the road, and uh, get on our way to go see the best show of the year. Warped has brought me to see bands like Every Time I Die, Attack Attack, Of Mice and Men, um, shit, The Chariot. I can name a thousand like that I've seen over the years that I was super into at the time that this tour brought to me, you know, at a decently close to home place in Milwaukee. How excited I was to see all these bands every day. I would always go with like a hundred dollars and I would throw all my money into the merch and then just like wear it for like a week. All the t-shirts I bought and just I wouldn't be able to talk about anything else. It was the greatest day of my year, every year, for pretty much eight years. I, in my early life, was really into playing music, into playing metal, hardcore stuff. And it kind of gave me an escape from you know, everything else that was going on. You know, something to look forward to, see my friends. You know, It was always like a meeting place. Like Every time there was a show, I'd run into people I wouldn't see forever. Like, I would be like, oh, I haven't seen you in three months. How's it going, man? It's like we never left. You know, It's like we never stopped hanging out. So Warped Tour, to me, was uh, a celebration of music, a celebration of friendship, and it was, you know, it was just a, a day to forget about everything and just go nuts, have fun, see all the, see all the heavy bands that you ever could want to see, and you know, come up with a bunch of merch and with a big smile on your face. So, Warped Tour meant a lot to me, and I'm really, really sad that it's coming to a close. But I'm excited to go to the last one. I'm excited to see the bands that I haven't seen yet, some bands that I have seen, and uh, just close it off with a, with a good goodbye. Now the main four bands uh, I'm looking at the web website right now and for me the main four bands that uh, I am absolutely going to see no questions asked because most of them are on the same stage actually are Every Time I Die, Harm's Way, Knock Loose, and Movements. So to uh, give some recommendations I'm also going to go over some bands that like if they line up I'll see them too so they'll, they'll be more than just four bands but this is going to be mainly about these four. Today we're going to start off with Knock Loose and I've seen this band before but I love this band. They've got great energy. They're not really reinventing the wheel as far as hardcore goes, but I really think this band is super solid from front to back. I first saw them in a small bar in Cudahy, Wisconsin. It's like right outside of Milwaukee, and I didn't really know who they were, but everybody, like once they got on, everybody went absolutely nuts who was into hardcore, and I was like, I'm out of the loop. I need to know who these guys are. I've since checked them out, seen them a couple times, and one of the best live shows you can see. They also have the best Mosh Call intro of all time. Uh, it's incredible. Uh, here's a look at it. Next band I want to see that I actually haven't seen before is Harm's Way. They're from Chicago, so they're closer to home here. And uh, they kind of bring an industrial brand to hardcore. They kind of have like a... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is the right description, but more of like a Nine Inch Nails kind of like vibe and like atmosphere to it, but with like a really heavy, heavy, heavy riff artillery. And I've wanted to see these guys for a while, and I'm super stoked. My third band for World Tour would be Movements. Now they're a band out of California, kind of a pop punk emo band. Incredible band. Incredible lyrics. Uh, just a band that'll get you through hard times. It's very in your feels kind of music, but it it. It feels, once you listen to them, it feels like a weight's being lifted off your shoulders. They're incredible. I haven't seen them before. I'm super excited. And it's going to be a good time. I, I really can't wait. They've been on my list ever since I found them. And I realized they're on Warped Tour. I'm like, sick. Another one, another band to cross off the list of my many bands that I have not yet seen. So that's going to be my third band that I really want to see. And I'm really excited to see them. 
And last but not least on my must-see list for uh, this upcoming Monday is Every Time I Die. Now, I've already talked about this in my last video when I talked, or one of my last videos, when I was talking about my vinyl collection, I talked about three albums that I really liked. And I already told you guys how much I love that band. This will be like my ninth time seeing them. They never get old, so. I'm stoked to see them on Warped Tour. I don't know if they'll play anything new. I know their album cycle's coming up, hopefully. I don't know, I don't know that for sure, but it's been a couple of years since they released their last album, so hopefully this is, you know, either they play some new stuff or they're on their way to right after this. I'm super excited, always a fun time. I can't miss band, and I'm really, you know, excited to see them again. And now for the bands that, if I get to see them, that'd be super awesome, but if they line up with those other four bands that I'll probably miss, because a lot of them I've seen, or that I have mild interest in seeing and wouldn't mind if I missed them. So there's a couple other bands that are like on the honorable mentions list for my must-sees of this year web tour. Knuckle Punk being the first one. I saw them uh, in March of this year. They were incredible. They're a pop punk band with a little bit of like an emo vibe, not too hard, but just a tinge of that. Incredible live show, very fun to see, very energetic, and they get you moving and it's gonna be dope. So that would be the first band I would wanna see. The second one is State Champs. Now, State Champs, I've seen before at Web Drew. They're incredible. Uh, their first, I think it's their first record, The Finer Things. I think that's their first record. That record is one of my favorites. I have it on vinyl. It's very great. Since then, I haven't liked their new records as much. Not to say that they're bad by any means. I love their new records, but they're, they're going to be on my list. Uh, they're always a fun time. They have a lot of bouncy riffs, a lot of like crowd interaction, a lot of a lot of really fun stuff at their live show. So that would be my uh, second on my honorable mentions list. Four Years Strong is the next on my list. Now, Four Years Strong has had a long um, history of being a very solid pop punk band from their Easy Core days. Easy Core being pop punk with like synth in the background, very happy, very, you know, major key riffs to uh, more just straight pop punk nowadays. Um, but they're, they've always seemed like they'd be a good live show. They have a, they've got two singers uh, that both can belt it. I always like their songs, so if I get a chance to see them, I'm definitely gonna be in there. Number four on the honorable mentions list is Turnstile. Now Turnstile is a break off of the hardcore band Trapped Under Ice. I'm pretty sure it's their drummer. Correct me if I'm wrong, YouTube comments. But they're a little bit more quirky than that. They have a lot of samples. They have a lot of pop punk riffs. A little bit more interesting than your normal hardcore band. So I've always wanted to see them. Uh, I jam their tracks in the gym. For me, like if I have the chance, they're, they're a must see for sure. I'm really excited to see them for the first time. And last on my honorable mentions list is August Burns Red. Some of you guys might already know who they are. They need no introduction. They're incredible. They're Grammy nominated. They influence so many metalcore bands. I can't tell you how many bands trying to sound like them in the late 2000s. The reason they're on my honorable mentions list is I've just seen them so many times. I can't tell you how many Warped Tours they've been on, how many other shows they've been on that I've seen. It's probably in like the 11 to 15 times I've seen them. But they're very solid and if I get a chance to uh, break away for a little bit, I'm gonna go check out their live show. They have a new album out that I actually haven't even listened to, so I have to do my homework on that. Hopefully I can uh, catch their set and see some of the new songs live, see some of my old favorites live, and just see them once again. They're always great, so why not? And that about does it for my uh, Warp Tour must-sees and recommendations. Um, I'm really excited to go. It's in two days on Monday the 23rd. Can't wait to be there, can't wait to check it out. I might vlog a little bit of it, but for the most part, I want to enjoy my last my last year at Web Tour. Just give a, a really good goodbye, be present in the moment, and just check out all the bands. So I'm gonna film some of it possibly, but it's not gonna, if I do do a vlog, it's not gonna be a very comprehensive, very thorough vlog, so. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked any of the bands, let me know. If you have any bands that you want to see on Web Tour that I didn't mention, mention it below and tell me why. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, yeah, see you later.